Hello friends, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss a program to segregate zeros and ones in an array. So the problem statement is given an array of zeros and ones in random order, write a code to segregate zeros on left side and ones on right side of the array. So this is my input array in which we have two values zero and one and both are in random order and this is my output in which we moved zeros on left side and ones on the right side so this is the problem statement <clears throat> and in this uh, so first we will discuss how we can solve this problem then uh, we will see its java and c code how we can implement uh, using java and c code so we can uh, so we traverse an array and we first move zeros on left side and then we move ones on right side in a single traversal so the time complexity of this approach is o n so let's see the code and understand uh, and i'll explain step by step how we are moving zeros on left side and ones on right side so this is my array and i have declared one variable j which has initial value of zero so uh, this is so suppose if i have the following array in which uh, the following elements are present and the length of this array is 7 so we have started traversing this array and the initial value of i is 0 and the terminating condition is i is less than equal to so if i is equal to array length or it's greater than array length then this loop will not work and after each step i increment the value of i and the condition is if the value of array i if the value present at any index is equal to equal to zero then we put the value and move uh, to the next element so let's start so the first value of i is zero so this is the zeroth index and if the value present at that index is zero yes value at zeroth index is zero so what we do is we put 0 and then we incremented the value of j so this is the post increment operator so initial value of 0 so we put 0 at the 0th index and then we incremented the value of j which is now 1 so the next value in this array is 1 so which is not equal to uh, which is not equal to 0 so this condition is false the next value is 0 so we put 0 at 1 uh, first index and after that the value of j becomes 2 the next value is 1 so which is not equal to 0 the next value is 0 so we put 0 at second index and the value of j becomes 3 the next value is 0 we put 0 at that index i mean third index and the value of j after that it becomes 4 so and the next value in this array is 1 so this condition is false so the for loop is done i mean uh, this operation is uh, done now let's move to next operation in which we are checking if the value of j is less than array length then put 1 in remaining indexes so we have already moved zeros on left sides so the remaining element is ones in an array so we can put all the ones so we already moved zeros now the remaining three element is one so we started while loop and put ones in an array so now after that our array becomes zero 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 which we already moved now remaining element is one so we have after this operation we have one then one then one so in this way uh, we have moved zeros on left side and ones on right side now we get a new array in which zeros and ones are segregated so we printed the result so print the array elements so if i run this code you can see the output let's see 
I have run the code and zeros are moved in a left side and ones are in right side. So we have completely segregated zeros and ones. So this is the Java code. Now let's see the C implementation. So the logic is same, only the syntax is changed. So this is my array and the length of this array is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have length here 11 and then I have initialized j with 0. Then the this is the same logic in which we moved zeros on left side. Then we move 1, we put 1s at the end of an array and then we printed the result. And so, so in this way we segregate zeros and 1s in an array so that's it for this video and for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is webrewrite.com https colon slash slash and thanks for watching this video